Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, yep, um, there is a masculine who is trying to manifest you back in so hard. I, I feel like that's all that they're doing. Um, I'm also picking up on the feeling like they've been watching tarot card readings or something and learning about how to manifest um, maybe meditation. Uh, they're trying really hard. Like they're breaking a sweat here. <laughs> okay. They're breaking a sweat, trying to manifest an opportunity with you. All right. So um, anyway, this reading is for the collective. It may not resonate with all of you though. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Like for real, the likes you guys, the likes help um, help the readers a lot because it gets the messages out farther for people. And um, the subscribes, thank you so much for joining the Soul Tribe. And everybody new here, hi, I'm Becca. You can call me Mammy Becca. I like that nickname. So keep the nicknames coming, guys. I love them. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm seeing a masculine energy. It's the end to a cycle here. They've picked up on some um spiritual tools right or they're at least trying they're trying really hard it's kind of like i feel like they're sitting down at, look at it here's the thing look at how tense their muscles are they're trying to manifest but this person is tense okay they're flexing their muscles here they're breaking a sweat this is sweat. <laughs> they're trying to manifest an opportunity with you so bad this is like Please, please, God, please just open a door for me, right? Let the love in. They're trying to get you to feel the same way about them that you used to. Um, they want you to love them again. And here, meanwhile, you're the, you're leading, being led through a doorway to spirit here and um, focusing on your abundance. You've got this gate closed behind you. I feel like at one point you were waiting for this person to wake up learn their lessons, do their work, have a transformation, and come towards you. I feel like you've waited at this gate long enough, though, and the divine is like, you know what, it's time for a change. We don't want you in this stagnancy. We want you, uh, we want you out here enjoying your life collective. We don't want you waiting around for somebody. I feel like they're trying to get you maybe to call them or maybe um, manifest like um, a an, a time when you guys bump into each other or something, but you, I don't see you approaching this person. And if they're going to sit on their butt here and break a sweat trying to dream you into their life, they have to take some kind of effort towards it. You know what I mean? Because you're being ushered through a whole new doorway here into a whole new life for yourself. Um, you're getting all of this money coming into you, okay? So you're like, uh, you're very abundant. You could be a boss, business owner, or you're about to, um, you're about to get a lot of money. And I feel like it's because the divine wants you to make some kind of move here into your future, okay? Um, but in order to do that, some of you may need the, the means to do that, the financial funds, right? And that's going to be coming towards you. I'm telling you, if you start seeing a lot of money rolling towards you, it's because the divine is trying to lead you forward and onward, okay? Um, yeah, this person can't just sit there and try to dream you up. They've got to take some kind of effort towards this. I feel like they're trying to energetically get you to approach them. That's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. They're experiencing some financial constraints right now, or maybe that's your energy, but um, I see the money flowing towards you pretty easily here. Um, the divine is opening two doors for you, okay? Yeah, all this blossoming abundance, and that's another door opening. This I'm seeing as a big portal here. So the divine is urging you to move forward because there's somebody else out there who really does know how to manifest. So there's there's two masculine energies here. This one who's breaking a sweat trying to manifest you in and this one who is the master manifester, okay? Who is now thinking, "Hmm, I I'm wondering where I can find the one who's going to fit this glass slipper, right?" 
and they're manifesting the right way. This person up here is, is manifesting the wrong way. They're trying to forcibly get you to come in and apologize. They're starting to get hostile because you're not, you're not stepping towards them. You're not paying attention to them. I feel like you've waited long enough and you've had a transformation collective. You're moving on and the divine is bringing in somebody new for you here. This is someone new who wants their Cinderella. Okay, for real. I feel like somebody needs to take some kind of action here. And I, this with Archangel Michael coming out here, I feel like you're being protected from this person from your past. Because, see, nothing they're doing is working. They're manifesting or possibly even maybe some spell work. It's not working. You are not giving them attention. You are not stepping towards them. Okay? And Archangel Michael, they know that, that this person is getting hostile about it, angry and upset. And with the, with the divine opening up this door for you to spirit, this is the door to spirit. Archangel Michael steps in like you, now that this door to spirit is open, this person can't come towards you. They haven't learned enough lessons here to come towards this door. You're going through this door and they're being held back. Clearly, um, it's because of their hostilities towards you. Because they don't want to make a move. They don't want to take, uh, they don't want to put in any effort. They want you to do it, collective. They want you to come towards them, begging to have them back. And that is not going to happen. Yeah, you're leaving. Look, you're too strong for this person. You're leaving. You found your door to personal healing and happiness here. And you were spiritually led. So yeah, you're being led to walk away from that connection. Yes, you are. This is the divine coming out here. And they're leading you right through this door to spirit. Um, where I feel like it's going to bring you to this thinking man here who's wondering who's going to fit that glass slipper. <laughs> this is the one who can really manifest. This person up here is a fake, a phony. This I feel like this person up here is maybe a karmic masculine. Um that is trying to manifest you to make a move towards them and this person down here or this could be this could be a twin flame right your divine masculine but they're doing it all wrong and they haven't really learned anything this person down here this is either your your true twin or a displaced twin looking for the right match for them and they are manifesting the right way they do have all the tools at their disposal that they need to create something with okay this person up here they do not they don't have anything they want you to love them again but no um I, they, and they want you to chase them but no that's not happening yeah, and this is fair, because this person from your past, they broke your heart, and you were the angel of love. You gave them nothing but love. You gave them nothing but love. You know, if they're going to break your heart, they need to make the first move, but they're not. They're getting hostile and angry and possibly wanting to send you some spiritual attacks because you're not giving them attention. Okay, that's their strategy. That's their strategy to try to manifest you to come towards them. No. And I feel like this person plans, plots, and strategizes on you behind your back. You know what? No more. The divine is, the Archangel Michael is holding them back. They can't get around Archangel Michael. Okay. He's holding them back. He's protecting you so you can walk through that door to spirit so that you can get the love that you deserve, okay? Angel of balance, temperance angel. Yeah, I feel like this is the person from your past. They got something to say, but I feel like um, with Archangel Michael out here, they're being told to rethink that. They're being told to regain their balance. Because right now they're angry. If they come in and talk to you now, it's just going to pop off into a fight or something. I feel like the divine just does not want this person from your past getting coming towards you right now. 
because of their anger and hostilities, okay? So they've got somebody new that's approaching you. I'm also feeling like you don't need this person from your past. You've got both Emperor and Empress energy here with the yin and the yang, okay? You don't need anyone. You're solid just on your own. But yeah, they're leading you to into a new time in your life, a new phase in your life where you're going to meet this, this thinking man who happens to be, look, and this is the one with the love. This new person here, they're going to, they're going to be, um, they're going to be wanting love. Okay. And when they meet you, I feel like they're going to fall in love with it. This is the Archangel Michael with the heart chakra open and, uh, and the angel of love. Yeah, this is a twin flame here or a displaced divine masculine. Yep, so you're being urged to go on a new journey. Some of you are being moved to a new location, right? On your temple path, you're told to release the old, right? You've got your bags packed here. You're being spiritually led someplace else, maybe. That's where you're going to meet this new thinking man, this magician, this um, divine masculine. Okay? And this person up here, this is a false twin, I feel. Maybe a karmic individual or turning karmic. They're being held back so that you can make this move forward. I'm telling you. You're going to be the woman holding the coin. So the divine is going to be giving you everything that you need to make this move forward in your life. Um, and you're extremely tapped in. You know it. I feel like you've got, you have faith here. You have faith. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about this reading, I'll be honest with you, because you've got all this protection, everything looks great. You're being lined up with your new person and you're, you're trying to walk away from this past person here, but you keep turning around and looking back. And I feel like that's part of the problem here. The divine doesn't want you to look back. They want you to look towards your future, okay? You let the divine take care of this person from the past. You know, if there's any kind of karma or anything like that, maybe you're, you're hoping for some justice or something, you know what? Um, you'll get your justice probably behind the scenes, but the divine doesn't want you to watch people's karma. They don't want you to keep looking back behind you, you know, over your shoulder. They want you to be in your north node and keep moving forward, okay? Just, you know, yeah. Because well, if you keep looking back over your shoulder, you're actually going to be looking at something that's already dead. There's nothing, there's no life in this tree left. Okay, if you keep looking back, this is what you're going to be looking at. The divine wants you to take a new path now. Okay, they want you to take a new path. Because there's somebody here um, at, this t on this, at this temple path, right? You're being, you're being brought together. I feel like this is you, the angel of love, and, um, and this person here who can create this magician energy, okay? So yeah, um, I feel like you just need to focus on your future. Focus on the future, okay, collective? Don't look back. All right, so what else can you show me here for my collective? Yeah, goddess of the moon. Use your intuition, right? Allowing spirit to guide you. You could be, I'll call out some signs. You could be a Cancer, maybe a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, I'm feeling Sagittarius energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. Um, yeah, you're so strong too. Taurus, Aries, Libra. Yeah, you could be any sign. Yeah, goddess of the moon, use your intuition, use your discernment, okay? 
um, and just allow the divine to lead you. I, that's what they're trying to do right now. Um, whether it's a location change or just energetically, they want you to be focusing on your future collective. Okay, I can't stress that enough. All right, anyway, that's what I have for this quick reading. Um, yeah, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.